This is a special session financed or hosted by the Intellectual Property Issues and Cultural Heritage Project being run out of Simon Fraser University and it's been coordinated by Lena Mortensen from University of Toronto and myself with uh, the input from folks that are on the Cultural Tourism Working Group. Our presentation is on the Stalo Cultural Experience Series, uh, Cultural Tourism as Relationship Building in the Central Fraser Valley. Who are the Stalo very briefly as the people of the river they're a rights-holding community, the rights-holding people. Uh, they are the people of the river, and ultimately, these are people with unique and deep, uh, deeply rooted connections in the land and the relationship between their land and their intellectual properties, their traditional, traditional cultural expressions and their intellectual properties are rooted deeply within the land and the culture. People have talked a lot uh, throughout the conference, throughout today, with the idea and the concept and the, the approach to sharing information, to sharing these intellectual properties, to sharing knowledge. Our conference is about sharing knowledge and building, sharing experience rather, and building knowledge. When we built this building, the Stalo Resource Center, it prompted um, the development of the Cultural Experience Series at the SRC, at the, cult at the Stalo Resource Center. So we'll refer to this as the CES from time to time. That's the foundation, that's what we'll be talking about today, the Cultural Experience Series. And that's, a, again, a factor of cultural tourism. So the origins of the Cultural Experience Series, uh, it's an initiative that we spearheaded uh, through the Stalo Research and Resource Management Center in conjunction with Stalo Nation. And to work with our partners here at the Nation, the Shwetasa uh Longhouse Extension Program, uh, initially the Kokolitsa Cultural Education Program uh, Center, um, and some of the other departments on the grounds here, uh, starting out in 2011, uh, 2011. That's about a year or so after having completed the, the facility that we're in right now. And that resource center and the Longhouse Extension uh, Program and the buildings, the infrastructure itself that was here uh, previously are what support this, this, this uh, cultural tourism venture. And as you can see, these are examples. This is the, the Schwartasis Out uh, uh, Interpretive Center and Art Gallery, the Longhouse that was recently rebuilt as of last year, and the Stalo Resource Center, the critical infrastructure needed to support the Cultural Experience Series. And what are we trying to say here? We are all welcome. Our key message through the series is, you're welcome to come in. And that's a change to the perception people had in the past uh, people meaning the non-Stalo who are living around the Kokolitsa grounds. The, the grounds itself being quite small and, and centrally located within the Chilliwack area. Most of the surrounding neighbors had no idea that they were welcome to come onto the grounds. And what we found when we were building the building here, generally what we heard was that um, either we thought we thought we couldn't come in, and ultimately we had no idea we could, and ultimately we have no idea what goes on in there. So we have no idea what the Stalo are, who they are. And so where people understand, get their understanding of Stalo is a bit of a mystery. Uh, the types of events we've run showcase uh, Stalo arts and artists. Uh, they showcase Shokuyam, the deep oral histories that we've talked about today. Showcases language, Halkamalam language, uh, aspects and issues of land and resources in terms of historic occupation and, and uh, use, archaeology, warrior day, salmon. Um, and in a, in a series of, of dinner and dialogues, that we feature, for example, a film series on stories of repatriation. That's our current, uh, a current uh, CES. Beautiful posters that Francine has developed as the key promoter of the whole experience series. And our objectives, though, are the important part that we want to get at. Through the CES, um, cause and create an opportunity for direct interaction between Stalo and non-Stalo peoples. Use personal interaction and direct experience as the basis for providing knowledge about Stalo culture. Address a gap in inter-community relations. Uh, as we were saying, there's limited, very, very limited understanding and interaction at the moment. So by creating a welcoming, non-threatening place for direct intercultural interaction, experience, and dialogue between Stalo and non-First Nation peoples, increase knowledge and awareness of Stalo culture through the sharing of authentic and accurate cultural information. Use personal involvement as the primary focus for sharing information and teaching and learning through performance activity-based uh, uh, activities in collaboration. All right, people doing this together. If those are our objectives. Are we are we actually doing anything here through cultural tourism through this event? Is the CES actually a factor of social change? 
uh, well, it was only by way of really bringing this into the intellectual property issue study uh, and talking to folks on our, on our tours, on our, our cultural tourism working group, um, such as Lena, that we said, well, let's, let's use surveying methods uh, to actually try to address this. And so we developed a preliminary development of, of survey questions at this point in time that we've very early on in the, in the stage of uh, or process of, of actually putting into place and gathering information. But we're focusing on, you know, I was thinking about it today, uh, demographics, motivations to attend, um, knowledge base, uh, perception of the experience. These are, are, you know, an understanding of the relationships with Stalo. Basically, it's like a, 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 it's a dating guide. We're putting together a, a dating guide. We want to we wanna find good mates for folks here. We want to understand, actually, as a dating service, are we doing a good job? So who's here? Who's coming together? And how are you going away together? We want to make good matches. So we're, we're, we're looking at those kind of survey questions, effectively, that get at the heart of relationships. Good afternoon. My name is... Francine Douglas, and my traditional name is Chai Shkulwit. Um, um, as Dave said, I'm um, Stalo, and I'm from Chehalis. So I grew up in, um, in Chehalis across the river. And um, I'm really excited to be here and talking about the cultural experience series. This is something that um, I've been organizing for, for the past year, or maybe a little bit more. And I absolutely love it because I can welcome people to the Stalo Resource Center, and um, in in having in bringing in our Stalo artists, um, the people who are considered leaders and experts in our Stalo culture, our history, and our land, um, they've been able to be um, to to share with our Stalo people, with their own family members, as well as um, our Stalo neighbors about who we are and and where we come from. And so I've been able to um, create a good crew of volunteers at the, the Cultural Experience Series so that I c could focus on um, doing the surveys at the events. And I've been able to do 16 surveys in total um, over the 11 events. And we've had just over 350 people come through the, the 11 events. And I have about four points, I think, for this, just in general about the surveys. But generally, people were from the, the Fraser Valley area, and they were, um, they, they were generally people who were interested either in Stalo art and crafts, or they were really interested in the Stalo history. So there, there was a bit of a divide, and depending on what we were, what the topic was, you could see that the crowd was a little bit different, but generally I had a really good crew of people who wouldn't want to miss. They just couldn't miss it, and they would rearrange, they talked to me about rearranging their family schedules to, to make it to the events. And um, a lot of them would plan um, their family, like if they had family coming from out of town, they would plan it around the event so that their families from out of town could attend. And um, right here is, um, this is Tijolatza, the, one of the descendants of Stone Tijolatza, and um, he was talking about sharing his story and uh, about the repatriation efforts to bring Stone Tijolatza home. The elders from the Stalo Elders Lodge were, were regular visitors. And they always left with with a positive um, with a positive image or attitude, or they've they've learned something. Their takeaway was was something positive about Stalo people, and they always um, they always talked about how welcoming it was. And I don't know if it was because we all had a welcome song, a welcome dance, <laughs> but that was a very common theme that they really felt welcome and. After, after 11 events, um, you could see people were comfortable here. And I remember my first event and there were people that, well, I, I've seen the big red building and we had one, one regular who lived um, in a house. So she said she, she watched the building as it was getting built and she wondered what it was. And um, I was walking her through, walking her around, showing her the display case. and talking about the baskets and some of the artwork on the walls and about Stone Tijolatza and she started crying <laughs> and she said it's just so beautiful I just I've always wanted to come here and um, she's like I could just cry and she started crying I was like okay well um, I'm glad you could be here and I'm glad you and she was one of the regular visitors here um, but there was there was a definite shift and I want to say that 
that in, in the question that Dave had earlier, it did affect social change. It was, um, it, it's a community, and it, the the people that are coming on a regular basis to the the cultural experience series, they have their sense of they have a sense of belonging here, whether they're Stalo or not, and it's because of the relationships that were being built, and um, you know some of the conclusions that we had. Obviously, there's only 11 surveys. We had 350 people coming through the door. Um, I would like to have, um, I'm trying to figure out a way to get everybody to do a survey. There is a sense of community across the cultures that we're building here within the SRC. And it's because we have this, this beautiful building that has our, our sacred treasures and um, it, it holds the knowledge. It has our, our history here. Um, and it broke down, like the cultural experience series is breaking down stereotypes. So people, they come in and, um, you know, they, they're learning about who we are as a people and they're learning about our history. So we have, um, and, and it's a shift for our solo artists and our, our leaders who come in. And I've seen, we, you know, we have speakers in the Longhouse who are very um, excellent orators and they can speak and tell stories and um, I brought one of them in in particular and he was sweating bullets because it was a different crowd it was our Stalo neighbors and I've never seen him like this and I was so surprised and I was trying to get him to breathe and we we're practice, practicing some some anxiety relieving techniques <laughs> and, and you know he made his way through it and then afterwards I could see he was really proud of himself and I said you did a really good job and he said yeah I've never talked outside of our own family or our own nation before some of our, our master artists who are amazing and they they share their personal stories of how they've learned their art from their family and how that knowledge was passed down. They share the personal stories or traditional teachings from their family and from their nation. And um, they, they don't see themselves as experts. And to be portrayed in that way, they, um, it's a shift. It was a definite shift for them. So um, I, I would say that the, the Cultural Experience Series, I'm really proud of it. And, um, and and thankful for Dave and to the Stalo Research and Resource Management Center and to iPinch for, for supporting, supporting the series. Uh, right now we are, um, you know, we want to continue. We're in the middle of a film and dinner dialogue series focusing on stories of repatriation. <coughs> so the, the next event is just before Aboriginal Day and uh, we'll also be featuring a film on Stone Tea Kolatsa at the, to conclude the series. And, um, you know, we'll continue gathering, gathering more information and, um, and use it, using these as a, this, the cultural experience series as a part of a, the Stalo tourism initiatives as a vehicle for social change. And, um, you know, in developing our relationship with the iPinch crew. So it's been very supportive. The Stalo Nation, all the departments, the, the Stalo Nation Library and Archives, Shotasaha Longhouse Extension Program, BC Hydro supported us, um, Immigration Canada has supported us, and the city of Chilliwack, Chilliwack Tourism, the Chilliwack Cultural Center, um, you know, the the, the email list and the, the to promote these events have been really easy and they've been very successful, so. Oh.